I'm Tim Kelster with your Catholic Health Update for the week of March 4th. Gary Havacan recently joined Catholic Health as its new Executive Vice President and Chief Operating Officer. The Waterbury, Connecticut native stopped by our studio recently and opened up about his passion for health care and why he feels so connected to Catholic Health. Catholic Health, you know, as an organization is very aligned with my uh, personal and professional ideals. It's, a, it's an organization with patient in mind always, uh, with a focus of quality and excellence. It was a celebration in West Islip where dozens of nurses were awarded scholarships to advance their professional development. Good Samaritan University Hospital President Ruth Hennessy and Chief Nursing Officer Susan Knopfler handed out the scholarships, which were made possible through the Mother Cabrini Health Foundation, as well as several local donors. For many, the aid will make a huge difference. I didn't know how I was going to be able to pay for my doctorate um, just because I did not qualify for tuition reimbursement. And being honored and being given the opportunity to apply for the scholarship, I was elated. And to find out that I received one of the scholarships, I was even more excited because it's helped me develop and I'll be able to continue my doctorate program. Finally today, it's the beginning of March and the kickoff to Social Work Month. We wanted to take just a few moments to recognize all of the incredible people on our team across Catholic Health who work with patients and their families every single day. You all rock at what you do, and we're grateful to have you as part of our team. For the latest on Catholic Health, you can visit our website anytime. It's catholichealthli.org. With your Catholic Health Update, I'm Tim Kelschner.